let's calculate the limit when x approaches to infinite of the function we have on the screen. We can see that this is a polynomial divided by another polynomial. So by the limits properties, the limit of a fraction is the subtraction of the limits. As substituting the x by the infinite, we would we would obtain a infinite sign that is an infinite number on the numerator and on the denominator would be also infinite plus one and that, that is equal to infinite. So we have an indetermination that is the infinite divided by infinite. What we have to do and we have this kind of indetermination, what we have to do is dividing the numerator and the denominator by the x of the big with the biggest exponent in on the frank on the fraction so we can see that the biggest exponent is the 2 that is the x square on the numerator so let's divide everything numerator and denominator by x square so let's make the division of every monomial we have on the fraction that is 2x square divided by x square plus 3x divided by x square plus 1 divided by x square and the denominator would be x divided by x square plus 1 divided by x square simplifying every fraction we would have on the numerator the x squares goes away so there's a 2 right there plus 3x divided by x square the x goes away so we will have 3 divided by x and plus 1 divided by x square and x divided by x square is equal to 1 divided by x and 1 divided by x square is the same we can cross out every term that is divided by x as x tends approaches to the infinite those terms are equal to 0 so the limit would be equal to 2 plus 0 plus 0 divided by 2 plus by, by 0 plus 0 when calculating a limit we can allow we are allowed to divide it to divide by 0 so as the result is 2 divided by 0 that that is the 0 is something really really small dividing something between uh, another thing but very 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 small that is would be equal to infinite that is that is bec that is because the polynomial on the numerator is uh, is of, of a biggest exponent the x as a square of second degree and the numerator is just degree 1 but now we have to calculate the sign of the result to know if it is plus or minus infinite. Let's have a look at the numerator. We can see that the numerator is positive plus 2x squared. So as it is plus x on the numerator, the denominator is also, I mean, I'm sorry about that, it's the sign of the denominator is positive too. So positive sign divided by positive sign is a positive sign. So the result is plus infinite.